I'm Jenny Ayling and we've been living here in northern Mozambique for the last 13 years. We arrived with four small children and now they've all left home and my husband Colin and I are still here at Maisie Teller Ministries. We came to Maisie Teller, um, an old cashew farm, and we really saw the potential. We felt God just put on our hearts the potential for a holistic ministry. So we've been here, we're redeveloping the cashew farm and working in church planting leadership development. Although it's always been a dream to come and to work in Africa, once you get here the realities of life are um, the heat, the isolation and just the constant demands have been a challenge. Just your, um, just your normal activities of daily living um, have, have challenges. So like we went into our closest town 10 kilometres away, coping with lots of people, you're the only white person in town. Um, you have your friends, but even your friends actually want, you, want to rip you off. Um, so that's a challenge. Just to buy goat's meat means that um, you have to just go and face like 10 guys or shoving legs of goat into your face and just saying buy off me, buy off me. And when we finally found some fresh meat, you then get them to weigh it. But it's a bit of a challenge to find scales that work. So today I thought, oh well let's try somebody else's scales to confirm the price, but his were half a kilo more expensive. So we quickly went back to the first guy. Um, Again, they're your friends, but again, it's just a battle because everyone wants you to buy off them. Shopping locally means that sometimes of the year, like today, there was, um, there was lettuce, there was green peppers, there was tomatoes, but often I go in and all you can buy for about three or four months of the year is potatoes and onions. And sometimes you just long for something green and fresh, but you have to go to Nampula two hours away to find that. Not, we're not just working locally because the women and babies that I work with, they can actually walk to the local hospital because that's only 10 kilometres away. The, where our churches are, they're 50, 60 kilometres away from the closest hospital. So they're the people that I love to go and work with. Um, the malnutrition programme happen, happens in the hunger season. Um, the rest of the year we're really concentrating on women's seminars and training the women to plant preschools in their local churches. But it can have its funny moments, like when the car runs, it breaks down, you just look to the person next to you and say, will you pray while I try and ring Colin? And that usually means standing up on top of the roof of the Land Rover, because once you're up there, it's amazing the reception that you can get. And you know, God is so faithful. We have never been, I have never been stranded. You know, I've come back with 10 people in my car and had the flat tire as I've driven up the drive, but I've never been stranded out there. Amazia Tell is an interdenominational mission and a holistic mission. And so one of the things we really appreciate about working with World Outreach is that it has allowed us to run with the vision and run with the calling that we knew we were called to. And so we're working here interdenominationally, we're working here in a holistic ministry, and we've got the supporting of World Outreach to do that. And in many different ways, they've helped us fulfill the spiritual and the practical part of our calling. There's challenges living here, but the blessings far outweigh the challenges. And I think, I know for me, what really keeps me here is that back in New Zealand, I just go, how many lives can I really affect? But the real greatest blessing for me here is that you can make a difference in a lot of people's lives. Um, you know, I've, I've got no special skills or anything, but you have a lot of opportunities every day to really um, reach out and touch people. And I've seen God change and transform so many lives. And that's definitely the greatest blessing in living here.